Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So thank you for allowing me to do this at nine. I think I have like 10, 15 minutes. Um, I just I don't want to miss too many days. I know last week um, I was unable to do the end of the week. And then this week I had a meeting yesterday at 1030 that I had to go to. And then today, something similar. It's at 10 a.m. Let's go to it. I went ahead and rescheduled Rhino Wealth as well from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock because it's just important to me. I really don't want to miss Rhino Bucks. I haven't looked at it. I know it closed yesterday at like, I think like 261 and a half, something like that. I already sent money over to the account. I just need to get there and move it. Um, so there is buying. Oh, there's buying every day, but I just want to make sure everyone knows there's, now there's buying. And I would say probably around. 11.30, 11.45, I'll be buying a whole bunch, which is a good thing. Uh, so Rhino Bucks continues to, you know, what it's always done. There's a seller, great. God bless. We're happy everyone can sell. But the buying is infinite because it's based on recurrence. The name of the game is to find something that that satisfies that um, that's on paper mathematics of infinite recurrence. And of course, we've we've gone through the gamut, right? And we're on Rhino Friend now, which is by far the biggest and best that I think anyone could come up with. In fact, in producing a demo code, which I've been doing the last two days, I'm up to 4,900 words. I'm not going to do 32,000 words in a demo code. That's going to be for the real code. But after our live the other day, where I really was kind of doing the math, there's just no feasible way to offer rhino friend to have uh the person that you're going to be talking to and i think in even offering it with that option hurts us because i think the person that gets in there are people that will say hey listen i would like to get in but i don't want to get into like the low version i'd rather get into the premium version i can't afford the premium version i'll just wait and i think that'd be unfair to us so i don't want to do that also on a feasible level in terms of like running a business, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should spread yourself so thin that you force yourself to do it. So do I think we can do um, the talking friend? Of course, we have the code, we have the integrations, it's A to B to C to D, but that's what I know. What don't I know? I have no idea what I don't know. So not only do I not know what I don't know about that, I also don't know what I don't know about what we're currently doing. And when you times I don't know, times I don't know, I don't know squared is a really scary position to be in. So let's just get it out. Let's get the 1.0 base version out. Meaning, or at least now the important, how am I walking with the sun directly on me? I haven't had the sun on me this entire time. Meaning the importance then becomes and welcoming anyone on, we need to really show what it does. We need to show how exciting it could be. There's a couple of ways of doing that. So we're in the process of revamping rhinofriend.com. That video that's in it will be taken down. That emulator, that's like a big chat box, is going to be taken down. It's going to be replaced with the iPhone iMessage screen, in which case you'll be interacting with your Rhino friend. Um, Obviously, the green and blue, as it's uh, unique to Apple, so you could really see how the messenger works in that code. And, and here's the cool thing, because I've, I've played with it, right? I've, I'm obviously inventing it on my side. So when I'm testing it on myself, I have like regular conversation. It's funny how much fake conversation I have during the day, because I'm testing Rhino Friend. So I was having this long conversation with it the other day and just talking about, oh, I got a date tonight. She's a vegan. I don't know what to make. Do you have any suggestions? And it came up with this amazing suggestion. This like Indian, I don't know, this Indian curry dish that's vegan. And I was like, oh, that sounds amazing. Like, what are the instructions? Gave me all the instructions. And Rhino Friend was like, really? Like, listen, don't be nervous tonight. It's a first date. I get it. But you're cooking for her. And I think it's going to be wonderful. Listen, listen, go ahead, go ahead. Please tell me how it is later. And I actually felt like it was like my friend. I was so like, I was comfortable with it. So then I messaged it later on. And I was like, 
Uh, of course, I name it Ted. I don't know why I keep naming everything Ted. This son, I promise you, the entire time, well, I guess I was walking that way, now I'm walking this way. Anyway, so I was talking to Ted. I was like, Ted, Ted, we just finished, we just finished dinner. And Ted's like, oh my God, tell me how it went. And I'm like, are you like a real person? And I told Ted, and I, I gave the girl the name, the fake date I was on, I think it was Christy. And Ted's like, Christy, Christy probably loves it. Like, ask her how she liked it. So I pretend to ask Christy, and I pretend to give um, Ted Christy's answer. And now Ted is having a conversation with her. So now Christy has a problem though. She, uh, what happened to Christy? Something with law. You know, she got a ticket and she needed help with something. So I told Ted, hey, Ted, Christy has this problem with the law. She got this ticket. She needs some help with it. Um, do you have any suggestions? Now in the demo code, one of the demo, uh, one of the sample companies I built in it was this, was this company called Stacy and Stacy Law Firm. Stacy and Stacy Law Firm, the value proposition of them was that, yeah, they have a real business and you know, they do all the law stuff, but every day at 7 p.m., they have a one hour live where they just share what their day has been about. They invite anyone to come on it and for $1, you're able to submit a question. Now for $2, you're able to submit a question. In which case, the value proposition of Stacy and Stacy is that you can ask a legal question to a legal lawyer and get a legal answer, which due to my recent history, I find to be quite valuable. You know, when you Google something, you don't actually get like a legal answer. Um, you get uh, a whole bunch of paperwork, in which case you have to denote what you think. But to actually have a lawyer like, hey, listen, this is the law, you can do this. So that's what Stacy and Stacy does. Now, of course, Stacy and Stacy is a made up company. But Rhino Friend knew in an instant, in that moment, to recommend Stacy and Stacy, said something personal about them, and gave Stacy and Stacy's website and gave a, uh, you know, ask your first question for free promotion. My fake Christy was fake happy. And you know why? Because I was thrilled. I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. So throughout the day, I did this and I hit five different businesses. Um, one was the law firm, one was fitness, one was whatever. The point being, the experience on my end, I've never had before. I've never, ever experienced getting ads, which I guess that's really what they're called, right? Like you're, you're getting a, a targeted ad but you're getting it a natural speak from a person that is the exact replica of you because it's coded to continually learning how to mirror you. In a moment that you need something, you have an infinite knowledge of the world and you are recommending the best option for you to you. And I was like, oh my God, like, this is amazing. Like I would buy every one of these, like, why wouldn't I? This is exactly what I need. So in continuing to do that, that was with like an 800 word code. I now have a 5,000 word code and I'm gonna go 10,000. Because what I would like to do is put that up on Rhino Friend. I would like to put that up on Rhino Friend and then welcome everyone to come to the website and say, hey, listen, check it out, see for yourself. Um, and then of course, in that code, Rhino Friend is going to convince the person to join. So it's not only going to be a demo code in terms of, hey, uh, Anthony Anthony Law Firm or, or Mike's Pizzeria or stuff like that, it will recognize in the conversation at some point, hey, Frida, have you, have you not seen enough? Uh, tell me about your business and I'll tell you how we can, um, how we can really um, you know, help you or something like that. And then it's going to offer you the option to get in, the discount if you get in now, um, it'll offer you everything. So it's, it's, it'll be like our salesman to you that's demonstrating the product to you for you on behalf of you if that even makes sense so that's in the works now we also have to put rhino agency into it i do want to do some type of promotion with rhino bucks in it because i do believe we have a real asset we should find a way to incorporate it um i want to build the affiliate and partnership system behind it we got to do the email sequencing behind it and my tech team said, hey, listen, Ant, we could probably get that modulator or the emulator for the iPhone 
done by today, by tomorrow being today. I just know what that sentence means. I, I, I don't trust, you know, I trust that that's what they believe, but I also trust that I've been down this road enough that I just don't think it's going to be done. And I would prefer more time. So it reminds me of, um, there's, a, there's a singer, Usher Raymond, who's one of my favorite growing up. And he cheated on his girlfriend. She was from, um, um, I don't know. She was from some group, really popular girl. They were known as like, this is a power couple. And she broke up with him and he made this album called uh, Confessions. And the whole album was about how bad he felt, how sorry he was, et cetera, et cetera. And, and, saying, and in saying that Rhino Friend is not gonna be till Monday, I cannot help but to relive one of the messages, or one of his lyrics in that song. I'm mad enough to punch me in my face. I am, I can, I can only say that the time that I'm spending right now is similar to swimming with a thousand pound weight on every one of my limbs. And the fact that I'm not drowning means that when those thousand pound weights are off, I can't even tell you what the future looks like. And that's the North Star, right? So like anything else, everything in life is a transaction. Anthony, it's taking too long. What's the trade-off? Well, the trade-off is I'm literally swimming with thousand pound weights on every single body part. And when I get rid of these thousand pound weights, let someone even try to compete with how fast we're going to be moving after that. Um, so I'm just going to continue giving the updates. I'll send another email tonight with some more updates. I really would like everyone to be fully included in knowing where we are, what the work that's being done. It's important to me for that to be the case. We're getting there. I, I, we're getting there. That I can assure you. Um, I've been at it since 3 a.m. And <laughs> I've been at it since 3 a.m. And I've like barely scratched Rhino. Like I spend the morning being a lawyer and then I spend the day being Rhino. And then there's some two, three, four hour span where I have to be bold. And um, you're never going to measure a father's love against anything. And the reason I say that, because I love Rhino. Rhino is me on a plate. It always has been, it always will be. My son, my daughter are me. So when I say you can never measure a father's love, it's not talking about my biological children solely. I have three kids, Rhino, Christian, Amoris. And um, I can promise you, there'll be nothing that ever gets in the way of that. So I love you <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll have this posted probably by say five o'clock. And I hope to have, well, I will have some updates for later. Love everyone.